Welcome to the Food is Medicine Summit and Expo podcast. I'm Patricia Thompson, AKA Dr. T. And I am Maya Acosta with Plant Based DFW. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Food as Medicine and uh, I'm Maya Acosta with Plant Based DFW and we have Patricia Thompson, um, Dr. T of TS Wellness and and we have Catherine Lawrence Ireland from Food Saved Me. Hi. <laughs> yeah, so this is really exciting to for all three of us to be sitting here talking about the summit next year and um, so let's just start by saying where we're at. Mm -hmm. So we are in your facility. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do here? Sure. Um, so we're at Food Save Me. We have a 5,000 square foot demo kitchen in South Lake, uh, just west of DFW Airport. And we teach free cooking and nutrition classes to prevent disease um, for the community. And, uh, you know, I love this background, by the way. It makes me feel like I'm in the kitchen. It's <laughs> a lot of fun. Yep. We all love to cook. And mm -hmm. um, so I kind of want to mention a little bit first that I've heard your story. I know about you because of Dr. Neil Barnard when I've, I've heard him speak. And also he referenced you in his um, Cheese Trap mm -hmm. book. And uh, But Patricia, please tell us about... Uh, food saved me and the sponsorship and all that that's going oh, on yeah. with the so summit. We're, we're so excited that Food Saved Me is our uh, presenting sponsor for our Food as Medicine Summit and Expo that's coming up 10 months from now, yes. April 24th and 25th. And Food Saved Me has generously um, uh, decided to be a sponsor. <coughs> and so not only as a sponsor, they're going to exhibit and as well as Catherine Lawrence Ireland will be presenting um, mm -hmm. as a speaker as well. So we have a, a triple a triple plus for our upcoming expo. And we really appreciate your partnership. Thank you. I, we're so excited to do this. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, we've been, you know, we need something like this mm -hmm. in Dallas Fort Worth area. And there's so many people mm -hmm. hungry for this information, mm -hmm. if you will. Uh, so we're excited to be able to help bring it to the community. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like it's really going to change a lot of lives and mean a lot for a lot of people. So yeah. it'll yeah. be amazing. So Dr. Neil Bernard is going to be one of our keynote mm -hmm. speakers. And um, Catherine, can you talk a little bit about uh, how you got to know Dr. Neil Bernard and um, and what your involvement have been with PCRM? Oh, sure. Um, well, I guess it starts with my story a little yes. bit. Um, about 14 years ago, I was working as an aerospace engineer here in town, and I got really sick. I had stage four endometriosis, ovarian, uterine cysts. My whole reproductive system had shut down, actually. Um, and I was told I was completely infertile. I'd never be able to have children. Um, and then I was also told I needed a full hysterectomy, mm. um, which is a a lot being 27 oh um, but my case was so advanced they mm -hmm. felt like I was too high risk for endometrial cancer so I um, I didn't want to do that mm -hmm. <laughs> so I started asking questions and doing research and um, I just kept asking does it have anything to do with the food that I eat because my diet was horrible absolutely <laughs> horrible and I was just told no so much and I think that um, there's so much more education that we need to do mm -hmm. in the medical community, um, especially mm -hmm. for ailments like this. Mm -hmm. And so eventually I found a nutritionist who mm -hmm. helped me to change my diet, introduced me to plant-based eating, and then introduced me to um, PCRM and Dr. Barnard. So uh, long story short, I didn't have the surgery. And after six months of changing my diet, I lost 55 pounds, re-reversed everything, and oh, my whole incredible. life changed. Yeah, I was on high cholesterol medication, got off of that, and then went on to have kids. Um, so I have three, a two-year-old boy, a five-year-old boy, and a seven-year-old boy. All plant-based pregnancies the entire way. And they're all big 10-pound babies, so very healthy. But so that is how I came to meet Dr. Barnard. Mm -hmm. I became um, 
I was so impressed with mm -hmm. what he was teaching and what PCRM does as an organization. I wanted to be part of it. Mm. Um, I applied to be an instructor, and I'm the first uh, cooking, like, food for life instructor that mm -hmm. PCRM had in Texas. Yay. So I've been teaching here a long time, um, for 11 years now. Wow. And, yeah, it's been great. And um, every couple years, Dr. Barnard comes down, has an event for us. Um, the last one he did was the Cheese mm -hmm. Trap when his book came that out and fun. and it's just an amazing organization to be a part of so yeah. I really I, enjoy it I saw that um, and at that time I didn't know you had I known I would have been here but now oh. that I see all that you offer it's just <laughs> so exciting I wish you were even closer to me but I know um, that's wonderful <laughs> what a wonderful testimony and that's mm -hmm. how I heard mm -hmm. about you first was Dr. Barnard um, mm -hmm. sharing your story at one of the conferences mm -hmm. oh yeah uh, I think um, Cheese trap. I'm chapter four. I had an obsession with cheese, macaroni and cheese to be specific. So he talks about it and what that can do to fertility and your reproductive system yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So now um, you get back to the community. You said mm -hmm. that you work with Dr. Barnard. Is that directly with him or here in collaboration? How does that here what? in collaboration, so I'm a Food for Life instructor. I used okay. to be one of the trainers for PCRM in DC, but it's more in collaboration when there's an event here in DFW, we support him. He comes here for events, and yeah. then I teach the classes. We teach um, cancer prevention, type two diabetes, reversal and prevention. And I've worked with Dr. Barnard to, um, mm -hmm. to create some other classes. So we have Alzheimer's prevention and things That's like right. that, all based around plant-based eating, how you can reverse or prevent disease. Yeah. And, and can mm -hmm. you touch on that a little bit? Because yourself and Dr. T, Patricia, they are both trained in food for life mm -hmm. um, through PCRM. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that training entails? Because that's a lot of credibility. Um, that's how, I, when I met you, you were wearing your apron, Food for Life. So mm -hmm. you can tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, go ahead. Training. Go ahead. This is your, this well, is your so training. Food for Life is an amazing program. Um, so it was started by a Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, PCRM. Mm -hmm. And we have instructors all across the country. Mm -hmm. uh, we have independent instructors, but then also we have educational alliance partners, which might be a hospital where they mm -hmm. send a representative to DC to get trained yes. and they can offer it within their hospital um, so we've got just hundreds mm -hmm. of instructors now and some internationally which is exciting um, the training is conducted directly by the PCRM team and Dr. Barnard does some of it um, the instructors end up getting um, continuing education credits depending mm -hmm. on what field they're in and I would say it's a nice mix of instructors. We have doctors, um, nurses, and then just lay people with stories like mine. For example, yes. a lot of cancer survivors are instructors and mm -hmm. um, the work that the of the classes I think is so important, especially somewhere in Texas where we just have so much more room to grow and educate people right. yeah. on plant-based diets. Now, mm -hmm. How long has this Food for Life program existed? Um, I think it's been 13 or 14 mm -hmm. years, yeah. do you think? Yeah, I think it's about that. So he basically yeah. trains you guys to go out and spread the word. And mm -hmm. basically, I love PCRM. Mm -hmm. There's so much science and research um, that, that they're involved in, but also mm -hmm. the way that they reference it to show yeah. that food is medicine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. I've seen it work. I mean, I've taught over 8,000 students in my 11 years teaching the programs. And I've even though we teach about cancer and diabetes mm -hmm. and heart disease, I've seen people overcome arthritis and allergies mm -hmm. and stop the progression of MS and rheumatoid arthritis and acne and digestive stuff. I mean, I feel like no matter what brought them to the class, they're going to get something good out of it, right. um, skin issues and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've had that oh, yeah. experience, too. Um, lots, lots of of testimonials and we were hoping to share some of those testimonials at the at the mm -hmm. summit in the expo because I think people can really relate to other people's stories yes. and they see themselves yeah. in them and mm -hmm. think wow if they've done that and I suffer from that maybe the same thing could I could have the same kind of success mm -hmm. yeah um, one of the things that I was always impressed with um, through the Food for Life uh, program is Dr. Neil Bernard's support of Salad Master cookware mm. and um, because of the nature of the cookware is in line with um, promoting nutrition and health for people. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with Salad Master? 
Sure. Um, so I was introduced to Salad Master originally through Dr. Bernard. Mm -hmm. um, he promotes it. You know, we talk in our classes. Mm -hmm. It's so important. What you eat is so important to your health. Mm -hmm. But there's another component that's not being discussed much, and mm -hmm. that's the cooking surface that you're using. And, and that can mm -hmm. leach metals and chemicals and plastics, mm -hmm. create all kinds of digestive problems mm -hmm. and so Dr. Barnard was talking about Salad Master when students would ask you know what's the best thing to cook on so I got introduced um, 14 years ago and I got a set and it was when I got sick mm -hmm. um, that nutritionist said you've got to you've got to use this and try it if you're going to eat all this healthy yes. food, mm -hmm. you need to cook it in a clean cookware. Right. So mm -hmm. I've been um, using it for a long time. Mm -hmm. But as I was transitioning um, out of engineering into teaching for Dr. Barnard and PCRM, I was teaching classes around the community and um, learned more about Salad Master Company. The corporate headquarters is here. It was founded mm -hmm. right in Dallas mm -hmm. and decided to open a Salad Master dealership. So Food Save Me is two part. We are one part Salad Master dealership and the second part um, free nutrition classes. I love that together we can give someone the whole picture, mm -hmm. yes. um, not just what they eat, but how to cook it so you yeah. keep the nutrients. And it's truly the only non-toxic cookware mm -hmm. available. Ah, yeah. So when you're really serious about eating clean, um, that's where Salad Master can help you. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. We have a website, foodsaveme.com, um, where you can find out more. But uh, we do their in-home cooking demonstrations. So we do those um, out of our office. We have about 20 chefs. But the fun thing is that my husband and I still get to do these. <laughs> so we'll have students from classes that we see, but then we still do the salad master presentations. And you mm -hmm. just learn so much. So yeah. it just so kind of brings in that next level. These are examples, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Salad master back here. Yeah. yeah. And it's Beautiful. the cooking surface, but also you teach about temperature, right? Right? Yes. In terms of how you cook your food, you don't want yeah. to overcook and destroy the nutrients. Mm -hmm. and yeah, things. you know, that's a big thing. When people transition to a plant-based diet, uh, it's a lot of plants. Yes. And when you overcook a plant, mm -hmm. it loses the flavor. Yes. I mean, it's important for health not to lose the vitamins and minerals, but like when you steam a food, it loses flavor. And so then mm -hmm. that's where we're tempted to add things like right. sugar and butter or mm -hmm. oil right. or some, you know, things like that yes. that are not health promoting, which is the reason we were eating <laughs> the vegetable right. in the first place. Exactly. So exactly. that's really, really important, low temperature. You've been listening to the Food as Medicine Summit and Expo podcast. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates and information and resources.